good morning everyone so far we discussed about the structure and the functions of stomach and introduction about GIT system acid secretion and regulation mechanism in the stomach other than the stomach there are lot of uh, accessory organs which is involved in the digestion of the food uh, starting into the oral cavity teeth tongue followed by the large intestine that is the anal canal up to that is considered as the GIT system see here in this image uh, it conclude that the oral cavity teeth tongue and salivary glands and pharynx next to that is the food pipe that is called esophagus it is the transporter of the materials to the stomach uh, next one is the liver gallbladder stomach pancreas and uh, large intestine and uh, small intestines these all the accessory organs which include involved in the digestion of the food today we are going to discuss about the large intestine and the small intestine mechanism involved in the food digestion this large and small intestines which is located in the lower segment of the gastrointestinal tract and this intestine is the also called as the bowel or the gut the lower GI starts at the pyloric sphincter. We already studied pyloric sphincter in the stomach and which is uh, finished at the anus. Anus is located in the large intestines area. The small intestine is subdivided into uh, three parts that is the duodenum, jejunum, ileum. First is duodenum. Duodenum is behind to the pyloric sphincter. The cecum marked as the Division between the small and the large intestine. The large intestine includes the rectum and the anal canal. Cecum is the separation of the small intestines and the large intestine. And the large intestine includes the rectum and the anal canal. Two parts. Small intestines are roughly 7 meter length. It takes a too longer. The body's major digestive organ is small intestine. Lining of the small intestine wall has the finger like projection that is called villi to increase the surface area. The villi are covered in the microvilli which further increases the surface of the absorption. In this image that pink color indicates the whole small intestine that 7 meter length. Here the partially digested food starts to arrive in the small intestines as semi liquid kind. One hour after it is eaten, the stomach is half empty after an average of 1.2 hours. After 4 or 5 hours, the stomach has emptied. The small intestine, the pH becomes a crucial. It needs to be finely balanced in order to activate the digestive system. The chyme is the very acidic which is a low pH having have been released from the stomach and it need to be made much more alkaline. This is achieved in the duodenum by the addition of the bile from the gallbladder combined with the bicarbonate secretion from the pancreatic duct and also from the secretion of bicarbonate rich mucus from the duodenal gland known as the Brunner's gland. The chyme arrives in the intestines having been released from the stomach through the opening of the pyloric pinches. The resulting alkaline fluid mix neutralizes the gastric acid which would damage the lining of intestine. The mucus component lubricates the walls of the intestine. Here to prevent the damage from the gastric acid in the uh, intestine it uh, creates the mucus to protect them and also the gallbladder gives the bicarbonate to reduce the acidic pH into alkaline pH when the digestive food particles are reduced enough in the size and the composition they can be absorbed by the intestinal wall and carried to the bloodstream the first receptacle this chymus duodenal bulb from here it passes into the first of the three sections of the small intestines the duodenum the next section is the jejunum and the third one is ileum the duodenum is the first and shortest section of the small intestines it is the halo which is joined c shaped tube which is connecting the uh, stomach to the geogenum it starts at the duodenal bulb and ends at the suspensory muscles of the duodenum the attachment of the suspensory muscles to the diaphragm 
is thought to help the passage of the food by making a wider angle at its attachments most food digestion take place in the small intestine segmentation contractions acts to mix and move the chyme more slowly into the small intestine allowing more time for the absorption and these continue in the large intestine in the duodenum pancreatic lipase is secreted together with the coenzyme colipase to further digest the fat content of the chyme For, from this breakdown smaller particles of emulsified fat called chylomicrons are produced the there are also digestive cells called enterocytes lining the intestine this the majority being in the small intestines they are unusual cells in that they have villi on their surface which in turn have in normal microvilli on their surface all these villi make for the greater surface area not only for the absorption of chyme but also for its further digestion by the large number of digestive enzymes present on the microvilli the chylomicrons are small enough to pass through the enterocytes villi and into their lymph capillaries called lacteals a milky fluid called chyle consisting mainly for the emulsified fat of the chylomicrons results from the absorbed mix with the lymph into the lacteals and this chyle is then transported through the lymphatic system to the result of the body the suspensory muscles mark uh, the end of the duodenum and the division between the upper gastrointestinal tract and the lower gastrointestinal tract the digestive tract continues as the jejunum which continues as the ileum the jejunum the mid section of the small intestine contains the circular folds flaps of doubled mucosal membrane which partially encircle and sometimes completely encircle the lumen of the intestines these folds together with villi serves to increase the surface of area of jejunum enabling an an increased absorption of the digest digested sugar amino acids and fatty acids into the bloodstream the circular folds are uh, also slow the passage of the food giving more time for the nutrients to be absorbed the last part of small intestine is the ileum this is also contains the villi and vitamin b12 bile acids and any residue nutrients are absorbed here when the chyme is exhausted of its nutrients the remaining waste materials changes into the semi solid called feces which passes to the large intestines where the bacteria in the gut flora further break down residual protein and starches transmit time through the small intestines is an average of 4 hours half of the food residues of your meal have emptied from the small intestines by an average of 5.4 hours after ingestion emptying of the small intestine is completely after an average of 8.6 hours the large intestines about 5 feet long it is below the uh, small intestines area except what the small intestine does not absorb absorption of the water to the con- uh, concentrate waste does not partic- participate in the digestion of the food rectum it is the short term storage which holds the feces before it is expelled here the rectum is the store short term storage for the feces before it is expelled Uh, the cecum is the pouch making a division between small intestines and the large intestine it lies below the ileocecal valve in the lower right quadrant of the abdomen the cecum receives a chyme from the last part of the small intestines the ileum and connect to the ascending co- colon of the large intestines at this junction there is a sphincter or the wall uh the ileocecal valve which slows the passage of this chyme from the ileum allowing further digestion it is the site of appendix attachment in this image uh, it uh, mentioned as the three is the small intestine area and uh, five six is the uh, large intestines area the wall has an outer layer of the longitudinal muscle the tani 
coli and an inner layer of the circular muscles the circular muscles keeps the material moving forward and also prevents any backflow of the waste also of help in this action of peristalsis the is the basal electrical rhythm that determines the frequency of contractions and this tania coli can be seen and are responsible for the bulges uh, present in the colon most parts of the gi tract are covered with the serous membrane and have a mesentery other other more muscles parts are lined with the adventitia and this large intestine the passage of the digestive food in the colon is the lot slower taken from 30 to 40 hours until it is removed by the defecation the colon mainly serves as the site for the fermentation of digestible matters by the gut flora the time taken varies considerably between individuals by individuals the remaining semi solid wastes is termed as the feces and is which is removed by the coordinated contractions of the intestinal walls termed as the peristalsis which propels the external excreta forward to reach the rectum and exit via the defecation from the anus uh, with this we'll finish the small intestines and the large intestine functions in the git in next video we'll see in the other accessory organs which is involved in the digestion if any doubt you can come and me at any time and the today's question was what are the different parts in the large intestines and the small intestines thank you for patient listening